Cap KVU First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Thursday evening, everyone. Here's a live look at Leavenworth, Washington, which, well, they got around 18 inches of snow in the last 24 hours. So much more than our areas. If you look at the roofs, they have so much snow on them. Oh, there you go. There's another good look. So quite a bit of snow throughout the state of Washington, again, affecting all of those passes. For our areas, we do expect to see warmer temperatures, but they're taking a little while to get to us. Scattered rain to maybe freezing rain if it doesn't warm up through Friday tomorrow morning, but much warmer tomorrow tomorrow and warm winds are picking up tomorrow as well. We even have an advisory. So here's what we looked at the past uh, 24 hours for our snow totals. Uh, Pendleton and Yakima leading the way, but still quite a bit in the Tri-Cities and Walla Walla areas. And uh, again, quite a bit of snow just throughout the entirety of the state of Washington and Northern Oregon. So take a look at our future cast. This is what we're expecting for the next couple of hours. We do expect some rain showers to be coming into the Tri-Cities, Walla Walla areas. That is, if we get above the freezing level. If not, we could be stuck with some rain-snow mix to maybe even some freezing rain like we saw two nights ago. So do keep an eye out for that. And as we move into the evening hours, those winds are going to start to slowly pick up and more shower activity. Pendleton, Walla Walla, even... Ellensburg and Yakima, you're on the periphery, but you could see some more shower activity. But then it should pretty much come to an end, maybe for Walla Walla, a little bit of uh, early, uh, late morning, <laughs> excuse me, late morning showers. But the snow will continue into the Cascades until looks like Saturday afternoon. So maybe that's why uh, WashDOT is considering opening the passes back up as we get to Saturday. And we should see some sunshine in our areas on Sunday as well, with temperatures not as warm as tomorrow, but still pretty darn darn warm now this is what we're talking about look at Dayton and Walla Walla 41 43 37 in Pendleton we're waiting for our other areas to start warming up and they should be but at worst they will be by tomorrow morning when we get all those winds out of the southwest so as we move into the evening hours, still not seeing much wind at all. Very light winds, pretty much nominal. But as we head into tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., we have a wind advisory. That is the turquoise, and it encompasses all of our areas. And here's what we can expect tomorrow. Quite a bit of wind, 25 to 35 mile per hour winds, Tri-Cities and Ellensburg. Not as heavy in the Yakima Valley, Walla Walla up to 30, and Pendleton heavy winds as well. And that will definitely help out things melting down. So as we move into our overnight period, we expect scattered showers. And again, if it doesn't warm up like we think it's going to, it could be a little bit of freezing rain. Uh, and we are still just below it for Hanford and Ellensburg overnight tonight, but still quite a warm evening compared to what we have seen. As we head into tomorrow, look at these temperatures, 49 for Walla Walla, even 39 for Ellensburg and in the mid 40s for most of our areas. And do expect some sunshine after morning showers are possible. So our seven day forecast, 43 on Saturday, and that sunshine will also be helping out. Uh, melting that snow. Then we get back to where, well, where we have been, right near that freezing mark, and we'll slowly warm up in our next work week. In the Yakima region, 38 tomorrow, 33 on Sunday, and slowly warming up as well. Maybe just a little bit of shower activity. But do get ready for rain to freezing rain tonight to a windy Friday and warm temperatures ahead.